Dear students, I am Devinder. I am teaching 9th class mathematics. Subject is topic is statistics. In this statistics, I will discuss in this video data, range of data, ungrouped frequency distribution table, grouped frequency distribution table, inclusive classes, exclusive classes. First, I will discuss about data. What do you mean by data here? The facts or figures which are numerical, that means numbers, or otherwise collected with a definite purpose are called data first for example i am asking what are the ages of your family member you can say directly your family members age that is one data we are collecting your family members ages data next one here statistics what do you mean by statistics the chapter is our statistics first i am explaining about statistics extraction of meaning from the data extraction of the meaning from the data is studied in a branch of mathematics we know that statistics is the branch of mathematics it plays a major role in daily life your statistics is the study of the collection analysis presentation of the data first we can collect the data and you can analysis and presentation of the data real example is population register in our state central government they will conduct for every 10 years first they will collect the data of the population they will do next analysis they and then they will present to the government from that only we can say directly which is the which state has the highest population which state is the lowest population based on the collection of the data only how can you do the collection first you can think the collection of data is a primary activity the data is two types one is primary data one is secondary data the primary data means the primary data the data is collected by directly by investigator that means a person who directly collect the data secondary data secondary data means the data is collected from a source for example, I will ask you, what is the population of Telangana state? You can depend on any other population register and you can see and you can tell me. That is the, you are depending on any other source. You are not collecting India's population, Telangana state population. You are depending on source, that means the newspapers, any other. If you are seeing any news, today news, you are seeing Enadu, Sakshi, any other newspaper, that means you are depending on source. You are not collecting any news. That means it is the secondary data. That means simply remember collection of data is primary data and secondary data. Primary data means it directly collection by investigator. Secondary data means it is depends on source. Now you can see range of the data. We know this is the range. The difference between the minimum and maximum value is called range of the data. Here see range is equal maximum value minus minimum value. For example, first I am representing one data. Here presentation of data here. Consider the marks obtained by six students in a mathematics test. One is 14, 6, 10, 18, 5, 20. First you can check which is the highest number. 20. You can write here maximum value is 20, which is the minimum value 5. You can write here minimum value is 5. Now you can see a range. Just only we know that maximum minus minimum 20 minus 5, you will get 15 only. That is the range of the data. Next, you can move to ungrouped frequency distribution table. Here, representation of the data with the actual observation with frequencies in a table is called ungrouped frequency distribution table that means here they are given 18 students marks in a test out of 5 5 2 3 1 1 1 3 2 2 4 2 3 5 2 4 5 1 1 now we have to make ungrouped frequency table how can you do first year writing how many marks here 1 2 3 4 5 
how many tile max here we have to write here next number of students that means here i have to write frequency first we can see how many students are got one marks one two three four five that only you can write one two three four five we can write we can write here five the next way two marks how many were one two three four five students you got here you can write one two three four five five students next year three how many more students got here three one two three students here you can write three only next four marks how many here check no one two we can write here two only next five one two three only three strings you can write here three now we can count it 5 plus 5 10 plus 3 13 plus 2 15 plus 3 18 there are how many strings are there 18 only this is the ungrouped frequency distribution table that means here we have to mention with marks in a one box next one tally marks with using tally marks only we can represent the ungrouped frequency distribution table for example we will move to grouped frequency distribution table how can you do here grouped means it is the simplest form here presenting data in form of simpler and condenses data and enables us to observe certain important features at a glance that means all the data is available at a single table in this question they have given the weight of 20 oranges picked at random from a basket of oranges are given below some of the weights are given below here first you can see here which is the minimum here 30 what is the maximum value 103 we cannot write 30 31 32 33 up to 103 it is a big data so we have to make here class intervals we have to make class intervals I am taking 10 10 class interval that means I am writing here 30 32 39 42 49 52 59 62 69 72 79 82 89 92 99 100 to 109 now you can see 32 39 first you can see here 35 it will comes in 32 39 that means 1 2 3 4 only that means you can write 1 2 3 4 yeah, I am writing here 4 only you have learned in 7th class statistics we have know that how to make tally marks that means if it is C, 45 it lies between 40 and 49 you can count here 42 49 1 next year 55 here you can see it lies between 50 to 59 in the same way we can analyze and write the tally marks from the tally marks we can write number of oranges that means we can write here frequency 4 3 5 1 2 3 2 2 just count it 100 to 10 now many is there 100 to 129 1 2 only that means can I write here only two tally marks after the completion of your table you can just count it total how much 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 11 13 16 18 20 there are total 20 students you can see here 20 oranges so your answer is correctly this is the grouped frequency distribution table see here this is the class intervals 32 39 42 49 are class intervals 30 is the least number so it is the lower limit 39 is the greatest number so it is the upper limit these are the in the before frequency distribution table we have discussed 32 39 22 29 10 to 19 these are the inclusive classes these are the inclusive classes that means these are non-overlapping for example if you are getting 18 18 can be less between 10 to 19 if you are getting 21 can we write it 20 to 29 that means these are non overlapping just only discussed 10 is the lower limit 19 is the upper limit that means you can see a lower limit means in each class least number is called lower limit 
that means if i am taking 50 to 59 which is the minimum value 50 so it is the lower limit upper limit i am taking in each class greatest number is called upper limit that means 10 to 30 is that is the upper limit i am writing see inclusive classes these are non overlapping but exclusive classes are overlapping see 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 30 came here 30 also here also came that means these are the overlapping classes we will discuss in detail in the next video how can do calculation but here we have to know here upper boundary how can you find the upper boundary just here upper boundary of a class is always calculated average of here see upper limit of the first class and lower limit of the next class that means 20 plus 20 how much it is 40 40 by 2 means you will get 20 only 20 is the upper limit of upper boundary of the class for exclusive classes upper limit and upper boundaries are same but inclusive classes they are not same we will discuss in detail see here I am taking here inclusive classes 22, 29, 32, 39. We have to find class boundaries. How can you find just now only I mentioned average of upper limit of the first class and lower limit of the second class. 29 plus 30, how much you will get here? 29 plus 30 is 59 by 2. 59 by 2 means 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja 4, 2 9 ja 18. You will get 0. That means 10 to 5 to 10. That means you will get 29.5. Here I am writing upper boundary is 29.5. See here, upper boundary of first class is same as the lower boundary of the second class. Next one, we have to calculate upper boundary of the next class. 39 plus 40. How much you will get? 79 by 2. You will get 39.5. See 39.5. Next one, this 39.5 will become here lower limit of the next lower boundary of the next class 39.5 here 39.5 next one you can see here we have to find 49 plus 50 how much you will get 49 plus 50 by 2 you will get 99 by 2 that means you will get 49.5 see here 49.5 you will got this upper boundary will become as a lower boundary of the next class 49.5 but see here upper boundary of the last class and the lower boundary of the first class are assumption only they will take here only assumption just see the how much the class in size here see 30 minus 20 how much difference 10 only 40 minus 30 how much difference 10 only 50 minus 40 how much difference 10 only so just you can subtract 29 minus 5 minus 10 how much you get here 29.5 minus 10 you will get 5 9 minus 0 9 only 2 minus 1 1 only 19.5 i am writing here see here always upper boundary will be increases how much just now we calculated 10 is the difference 39 minus 5 minus 29 minus 5 how much difference 10 only here also 10 just you can add 49.5 plus 10 you will get 59.5 this is the upper boundary of the last class here lower boundary of the first class if you know the basics here upper limit lower limit upper boundary lower boundary then you can do the problems easily in the exercises you can see and practice and more and more we will discuss the excess problems in the next video thank you